All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be answering Sergio, Sergio Y two questions. So he's saying, he's asking, hello Esteban, I really appreciate you doing these videos. I have a question. Can you do a PP and a WC using the same audience? Thank you in advance for your response. Okay, um, so right now, if you don't know what a PP is or a, what a WC is, those are the two, well, two main ads of uh, campaigns you can launch, two main types of campaigns you can launch. PP stands for page post engagement, WC stands for website conversion. So these are different types of engage of objectives. The PP is designed to get engagement. So you create a post and Facebook optimizes for people to uh, react, edit, comment, and share it. While website conversions, people are clicking your ad and going to a landing page where they are either, either entering their information or, or purchasing a product. So um, it really depends on the type of objective you are looking for. But if you want to test both using the same audience, the answer is yes, it's possible. Um, what you could, what the only thing you need to do is you just create a, uh, one campaign for PPE and one campaign for website conversions, and then you just run them with the exact same um, campaign setup on the inside. So don't change the, the targeting, don't change the ads, don't change anything. So you're running the two same campaigns with different objectives. So what this is gonna do is that this is gonna allow you to split test only one variable. And I always tell people, split test only one variable at a time because when you do, when the problem if you split multiple variables at a time is that you won't know which one is making the difference. So by split testing only two vari one variable at a time, what it happens is that you realize, okay, either A is better or either B is better or C, but it's just one variable. So in this case, if you're testing PP against website conversions, um, you will see, uh, depending on what you're advertising, whether it's a lead magnet, a physical product, etc., you will know which type of objective is giving you the best results. So that's pretty much it, uh, Sergio. Just create two, two exact campaigns, two identical campaigns that each one has a different objective. And this way you're just gonna be uh, testing the objective and uh, make sure you run it for enough uh, time, spend enough money for you to get enough data. And once you have enough data, just compare the two campaigns against each other to see which one gets you best results for whatever it is that you are advertising. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, keep it simple, test two campaigns. Once you see which objective works better for you, then you can start testing other variables such as the targeting, such as the photos, such as um, the offer, etc. But the first thing is to test one variable at a time. And if you wanna test the campaign's objective, which will make a big difference, do it. So that's it. Launch two different campaigns, different objectives. And if you have any more questions or anyone else watching this video, type them in the comments below. I'll answer them on a video and I'll see you on the next one. All right, so if you got value out of this video and wanna learn more, simply click on the link below or go to estebangomez.net forward slash course where you're gonna get access to my Facebook advertising one-on-one course. It's gonna teach you all the fundamentals from A to C on how to launch your first successful campaign. Everything from how to do market research, how to do audience research, how to create an ad, and how to launch your first successful Facebook campaign. So if this is something you're interested in, simply click on the link below this video or go to estebangomez.net forward slash course and I'll see you on the inside.